Hello and welcome. I am recording this in June 2025. Motion has not changed much when it comes to the interface. Over the past few years, I have gathered a lot more experience and uh, I've worked with a lot more clients using motion graphics softwares like Apple Motion and Final Cut Pro. While going through my Apple Motion tutorial, I noticed that there are some gaps that I would like to fill in with some add-on videos. This is the first video that I'm doing, which is part of the interface section of my Apple Motion tutorial. In this video, I will share some of the things that I actually use when I'm working on client project. Those are time restricted projects where I have to deliver the project in a, in a short amount of time. And there are some interface tricks that uh, I actually use as a beginner. If you start incorporating them in your journey while learning and mastering Apple Motion, they will help you in future projects and will help you reduce a lot of time. So let's dive into these and, uh, and figure it out for ourselves. I'm going to start with Apple Motion Project. I'm using Broadcast 1080p. It's better because my computer is not as fast as the latest uh, M-series processors. I'm going to use uh, 30 frames per second. Doesn't matter what you're using. And let's open it up. The very first thing you notice in this interface is, um, you know, like we discussed in our interface class, we have a library, we have an inspector pane, and then we do have our layers where we see all our elements that we are working on. And inside inspector, we have behavior filters and objects um, now obviously there are a lot of other options as well that I will not go deep into but what I want to talk about here is that what sort of shortcuts you can actually use to manipulate this entire environment I'm gonna go into motion menu here and then I have command sets now you can actually see that I have a couple of command sets that I have a Final Cut Pro set, then I have Dash 15th of January and June 2025. Now, by default, you will have standard command sets. You can either import command sets from other places or like what we're gonna do here, we will learn how to customize your command sets. This is uh, the command editor. It's important in the beginning stages of your motion journey, you identify some of the keys that you will be using on a frequent basis. Now, what I want you to focus on, since we're talking about the interface here, I want you to focus on main command menu. Now, in here, I want you to click on window menu where you can actually see that some of these commands are for these different sections that we talked about. We talked about library, inspector, these layers, and some of these options here. Here you can see that there are show layers, which is command four, and we have command seven, which is a video timeline, which is what you see here, and we have an audio timeline. Let's see them in action and sort of figure it out. So the first one we have is command two, which is our library. So I'm gonna just close this and press command two, command two, and you can see that my library option right here appears and disappears command two appears and disappears. so by keeping track of these shortcuts i am quickly able to go between my library and my not having library and having a library like that uh, the next one is command three which shows inspector and if i continue command four will show the project lane which is which is here. The project pane is where we see all our assets. And if I go command five, you can see I'm now in media layer. And then command six is audio. Command four is layers. Command four again, I remove project pane from this area. Also, if I continue command seven, you can see that the timeline that I have here is going to disappear. Now, this interface is by default motions way of telling you that this is how you should be working you should have your projects here you should have all your options all your projects uh, uh, elements in this section um, inside your project pane layers this is where you will see all your assets this is the best place this is where it should be you can also see some of your assets in this area however this is not how i use it i have my own preference when it comes to using apple motion i'm going to click on windows here and here I have Windows layout. Right now we are in classic mode, which you see here, but then we also have a cinema mode. So for cinema mode, we do have shortcuts that are appearing right in front. So if you press these shortcuts, you will be able to go into cinema mode. So let's click on this. 
now that you see we have a different interface now this is the interface that I actually prefer where I have um, my working title or working project right in the center I can view all these options here um, whatever I'm editing I can actually see it here this is where all my layers will appear and also I will have layers here in this option and I have my inspector so again I can go click on 2 it will command 2 will bring the library in command 2 will take it out and if I press command 3 it will bring the inspector pane here and inspector pane out so having this here is a lot better than having everything on this side which appears something like this when I press the shortcut menu so you can see that I have to um, do a lot more dragging when it comes to this but uh, depending on your preferences um, I personally prefer the cinema mode let me show you a project that I created inside of uh, motion 5 so this is what a typical project that I work on looks like you can see that I have my layers all my layers in this option now the reason I want to show you this is I want to show you um, a few examples of how I utilize this interface and how I work with it now like we discussed that like, I can press command 2 and it will bring the library here I can press command 3 it will bring the inspector command 4 it removes the project pane that I have here all the layers it removes that and I still have access to my layers in this area I can decrease the size here and I can press command 2 it removes the library option or inspector option either command 2 press again command 2 to bring the library command 2 to take it out now you can see that I have a lot more room to work on and I can access a lot of things that I have here this is how I can zoom in and out of my project now of course here I can use the pinch in and out option to increase the depth of of my timeline options here or timeline layers or I can press command 4 again and it simply brings me to this place here here let me just play this for you to show you what exactly this is this is a very big project you can actually see that I have a lot more layers uh, in here they're close to 100 to 200 layers within each folder you can see as I go each individual layer was crafted for this project now this is a very advanced um, working um, example that I'm showing you here but these are some of the things that you can work towards when you master the interface and master the basics of uh, motion graphic when it comes to um, uh, keyframing animation interface and moving objects and moving elements from one space to another the following example is what you can achieve when you get to a higher level of Apple motion mastery so I'm gonna close my project paint which is command 4 and I'm gonna bring this in the center and let's play. Homeowners. There's a buzz in savvy circles about a smart way to help boost your home's value and help reduce energy costs at the same time. And here's a hint. It's not solar panels. We're talking about significant savings on window upgrades. Expert Home Services offers direct deals and incredible savings. Click the learn more and enter your zip code to get started with a no strings attached free quote. It takes less than two minutes. And in case you are wondering uh, what these lines are, these are just safe uh, zones that I've created for myself when it comes to some of the requirements from different social media platforms they are very easy to bring about you can click on view and ruler so that is what the ruler is so enable your ruler from this option here and just drag from the top a line and you can see you can put it anywhere you want for yourself so there are a lot of ways to modify this for yourself unfortunately it there's no way to save a new window layout so you are stuck with these two layouts and you're always playing around with what actually works for you for example if I do not want to see my timeline and I only want to see my window pane I can press command 7 and press command 4 now here I have a view of my window pane 
which I have here, Project Paint, where I can see all the elements that I have here. If I don't want to see that, I want to see the Inspector um, menu, I can press Command 3 and it will only show me the Inspector uh, menu that I'm working on. So let's click on something here and you can see that these are some of the things that uh, that are there that are available. So I can always play around with these options. Now of course this is a vertical video so if you have a, if you have a horizontal video it will appear in a different manner. Motion has other advanced features that I will not go through in this video. That is a different lesson that I'm actually working on so if you're watching this I thank you very much and I hope um, this added a little bit of more uh, interface knowledge and workflow idea of how you can use uh, motion interface. I'll see you in the next one.